So what are the changes of this Play-Doh now to what it was before? How has it changed? What are its properties now? What you can do is have a little bit of fun with your Play-Doh. Get out your old roller. Bring back your kindergarten days. Bring in some cookie cutters. So while we've got our Play-Doh out and going, roll out a bit, a bit of a flat bit like such. And what we're going to use is that as the base to put a candle on and burn a candle. Now the, this part of the candle is called the wick and the rest of course is made up of wax. So when a candle burns, is that a chemical change or a physical change? So again, make sure you ask your parents or your adult helper if you can have some help for getting the candle going. Once it's a light, let it burn for a little while to get a good flame going and just watch what's happening. Now as the candle burns, you'll notice that the wick doesn't really burn or get consumed itself. So that's a pretty amazing thing when you think about it really, how much fire is burn, burn, burning but the wick is not being burnt up. So what is happening? Well, you will notice a bit of a pull down around the base of that wick of melted or molten wax. It's changing its state from a solid to a liquid. And as it does and it heats up, it lets off a gas. And the wax that's melting is letting off a gas. And that gas is quite a flammable gas. What's burning is more of the gas rather than the wick. If it didn't have that gas coming off that melted wax, then it would probably gone out by now because the wick wouldn't keep burning. 